everyone, it's Angie. Today I'm going to do a rose king. And I want it mainly orange, a little bit of white and brown on each side. And I am using Primo colors. So I'm going to not cut that in half. like that. Put these on top here. I'm going to make these stretch out. So let's see how I'm going to do that. I need you bigger than that, don't I? Yeah, I'm just going to kind of gob it in here until I get it how I want it and I'll just roll that out. <clears throat> or flatten it or whatever. And I'll do the same with this one. Stick that in there a little higher. You'd almost think I knew what I was doing. It's just I only want very little of, this is the least I want is the brown. And then just a little more of the white, but I want it mainly orange. So that's what I'm doing. I'll roll this out some, try to flatten it a little so I can put it in my past machine. <coughs> oh, my hands are getting sore. And we'll fold it in half up this way. So we have a solid color here, solid color, color here. And it goes in the past machine from one end up. And we start at the fold because we want to push all the air bubbles up and out. We don't want air bubbles. They can be a real pain in your project. So I'll roll that a little bit because I don't want to is my past machine too thick because I don't want to stress it out. If I lose my past machine, I might even cry. All right, put that in there and we'll do our Skinner Blend. And we have this. I should have probably told you, I've got two blocks of orange. I'll show you what I mean. There's four of them in a pack. There's one block. So there was four, I just took two out. Honestly, I used the other one before. This one here is about one block and this one here is less than one block. Probably half of one, maybe a little more. Anyway, run that through again. We're going to keep on doing that until we get a nice blend. And we're starting to get one now. Let's put them on there, as you can see. So fold it over again. Put it in the past machine. Fold it and do it again. And we'll keep doing that until we get a nice blend. And I'll be back. All right. Now that we have our Skinner blend done. We are going to fold it and fold it again. Make sure you get the air out. So you want to start in the middle and push your way out because you well, I've got to get those out. I'm going to squish this up. Nice and long. Roll it some too because I'm going to put it through the past machine again. And we're going to be making it long this way. So we've got to thin it out again.
Same air bubble right there. My rollers are getting out of control here. Two of them here. There, I'm gonna put that through the plastic machine. Oh, my cake is setting. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna start with a little garbage on the end of this, and I don't want that. So, I'm gonna cut that off. Get rid of that. Move my acrylic rollers. And I'm going to start with my light one, and I'm just going to fan fold it. Yeah, I'm out of, I, don't know, I keep leaning back when I do things, and it's like, well, you can't see what I'm doing if I'm way back in my chair. Don't do it intentionally, it's just a bad habit. I have to move my camera so it's back further. Well, closer to me, I guess. Anyway, we'll keep doing this to eat to the very end. Right there. And it should look something like this. Now, let's stick it all together. My small roller. And we gotta get this so that it's <clears throat> smaller. Going this way, get this smaller, tucked into each other, and then we're gonna be bringing it out this way. Because we're going to need to cut, hmm, oh, probably a good 15, 16 pieces out of this. Preferably myself, I like to get as many as I can for the petals. Because I feel the more you have, the better it looks. I'm flipping it back and forth because I mean, my, I'm right handed. So I'm probably pushing harder with my right hand when I'm doing things on that side. So in order to keep everything even, I like to rotate it back and forth. I find one hand tends to do more than what the other one does. They're not quite in sync with each other. I'm gonna keep rolling this out <clears throat> until I get it long enough that I can cut, I don't know, 12, 16 pieces out of it. And then I'll be back, okay. I got it rolled out pretty good. So I'm going to trim off my ends. Make sure I got enough trimmed off. Whoops, what helps I cut all the way through. There. All right, so I'm going to start here. And again, I'm using my cute little this. And I'm going to go these are about what an inch each I think so I'm just going to cut them right in on these lines I like making my life a little easier there and that's ten let's see what this one's going to give me Got me another 10. Yep. These ones are a little bigger. I'm going to save these ones for the outside of the uh, flower. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these and you're going to flatten it. The first one, you're only going to want one side flattened. And I want the white in the middle. 
So you're going to leave this side like this. You squish it a little bit, but this one's going to go right down because we have to make that circle thing there for the, the center of the petal, pet, center of the flower. You know, the tiny one just kind of rolls right around. So you're going to want it like this. And you're going to roll this. Am I in the camera? Jeez, I hope so. So I'll show you again, just in case I wasn't. This one's flat, this one's not. And then you're going to gently roll that over and roll it up, just like this. And that's going to be the center of your flower. Now for the rest, is that my cat? Oh, I just told me, what is that noise in here? It's got a little snore noise or something going on. Anyway, so that's the center. I'll stop playing with it. Now for the rest of these, <clears throat> I'll do a couple. You're going to squish them down. Squish, squish, squish. Flip it over because you want that white going like this. So you're flattening both sides. Make it like a point here, but you're leaving that bump up. See? Leaving the bump up there. And you're just squeezing these sides down. I'm going to do that. To the rest of these. I like squishing this side down for some reason because I find this white very soft. As you can see, it's been sticking to my fingers. And they've all been worked the same, so you know. Anyway, I'm gonna squish these sides down. Yeah, that's my cat. <laughs> and you have squeaky noises. Right, Grissom? There, see? That center is going to be thicker. These are going to be very thin on the edges. I'll do another one. <clears throat> Push down the sides, leave the center alone. Just like that. All right, so I'm going to do the rest of these and then I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. Got them all done. And now what we do is wrap. So we're going to start right in here, putting this right there. It's not quite long enough. I will stretch it. It's clay, it's movable, flexible, and I will move it. Yep. Anyway, so then we're going to flatten this one. You know, just tap it in there. This one you want to leave out because you need to tuck the other one in. So then we're going to go right here. And again, it's not quite long enough, but that's okay. We'll just, we'll make it fit. We'll roll this one down. And we'll take another one. I don't want that stick in there because this clay is very warm. I've been playing with it. Take another one. Place it in the center of this one. We'll lay it down. And it'll go under this one. And we'll put this one over top. Well, come on, stick down there. Just like that. That's our first row. Then again, halfway. Not quite long enough again. Leave the side up, the left side up. Whoops, trying to give it a stretch. Roll that one over, <clears throat> excuse me. Pick up another one. I know I'm gonna have to stretch it, so I'll stretch it now. I'll go halfway here, pull it down, make it fit properly. Grab another one, do it halfway. Stick her down, grab another one, do the same thing. Whoops, one's picking up. And another one, I think you know the drill now. Stick it down, then we'll 
grab this one. Like I say, if they're not quite the right size, make it fit. Put it here. And stick that one down. Flip this one over. So it's all going around. And we'll do it again. Grab another piece. <clears throat> Stick it down. Oops, I almost stuck that other side down. We'll leave that up. Grab another one. Size it halfway in that line. Lay it down. I like making these roses. I've made a few. They're fun, they're pretty, they're easy. Well, I find them easy. I mean, you can do more complex ones, but this is a pretty easy one. <clears throat> Maybe that's why I like it so much. I don't have to try too hard to make a rose cane and have it look pretty. Okay. These ones are pretty close, but these are larger. Put it in the center. Flop her down. I might have extra, but that's okay. I'd rather have too many than not enough. Up or down. Put that one down. I think this one looks like it fit better. Put this one in there. Center all up nicely. Stick that down and put this one over. Just like that. And there's your rose cane. Now, I'm going to put translucent clay around it. So we don't need those two, that's fine. It can go in the scrap pile. It's gonna that'll make a pretty scrap cane. Very pretty. All right, let's see. Do I have this wide enough? Actually, I'm gonna reduce it a little bit first before I put that on it. Just because. Make sure I get all the air out. Start in the middle. Thumb, finger, thumb, finger, and go around. This way you get your air out. And then work your way to the end. Just like so. Turn it around and do the other side. Same thing. There. Now, only because this is the only reason why I can re reduce this some is because I don't have any indents or anything where I would need to put some clay in so it will keep the shape. And this is pretty round. But if it was different than that, I wouldn't be able to do that. Anyway, I'm going to stretch this out. Whoops. Not quite. I can always stretch and pull it. I feel like my hands are really sticky from all this clay I've been playing with. There, I'll plop you down. Open that up a little bit. Wrap it. Roll it, get my line, and cut it. Just like that. And there we go. And chop the ends off. And how good it's gonna cut because you know, it's quite warm. And there's your rose cane. Mind you, this is really big. I haven't reduced it yet. And I probably won't reduce it much more than what it is because I think it'll be too much. There it is. Looks pretty cool. I'll reduce it a little bit more, but that's all there is to the rose cane. And you can use any color you want. 
I've done them in yellow, blue. This one here is a three color. You could probably do it in, well, you can do it in two colors if you want. For a Skinner blend. You can pick any color you want. Make any rose you want. It's so pretty. I need to chop that a little bit more. Right, so you can tell how warm it is, how it pulls it. Anyway, there you go. That's it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next tutorial. Have a good one.